What will this timeline for Theresa May's departure look like? What are we likely to learn today? Yeah, good morning, Neira. So we are expecting her to set out then this timetable uh, for her final days. But could the final days of May actually come in early June? She wants to hang on. She wants to hang on until June the 10th. Why June the 10th? There's a small election taking place in eastern England. Trump is going to be visiting. President Trump, of course, which is uh, an added complication, perhaps. And also she wants to get through the 75th anniversary of the D-Day landing. So she wants to delay until June the 10th. But setting out the timetable to get to June the 10th could be important. Uh, she also wants to stay as caretaker prime minister through the leadership contest. So once the starting gun has officially been sounded, although it sometimes feels as if that happened long ago, uh, once that has officially happened, uh, we could be into a process that lasts six weeks, two months. Certainly, it, it seems the, the hope in, uh, in the Conservative Party is that this could all be done and dusted by the end of July. Uh, as I say, this is a long process. It's a multi-stage process. It starts with the MPs in Parliament and then it goes to the members. In terms of succession, Anna, is Boris Johnson still the top candidate to watch? Yes, absolutely. But it depends if he gets onto the final two. That's crucial because, as I say, it is a two-stage process, Neighbor. First, the MPs have to whittle what is expected to be a very crowded field down to the last two. And then those last two get put to the party membership uh, and expect the potential leadership candidates to try and address their messages to both of those groupings over the next few weeks. Um, those groupings don't necessarily see Brexit in exactly the same light. The membership very much more pro-Brexit than perhaps many of the MPs in the House uh, behind me or the Tory MPs in the house behind me. Boris Johnson, then former mayor of London, former foreign secretary. Uh, he is certainly expected, uh, he is certainly seen as one of the front runners, one of the favourites within the membership of the Conservative Party. Although you'll remember that uh, speculation around Boris Johnson, what exactly he thinks of a no deal Brexit, that is something that has been guiding the pound lower. One of our colleagues described this, uh, him as the bogeyman for the pound. Uh, uh, we've seen the pound in a record losing streak, and part of that has to do with the odds of Boris Johnson becoming prime minister and how much more likely that makes a no-deal Brexit.